Okay, today we're going to adjust an image in Camera Raw. So let's first off get our image in. So open it in Camera Raw. We'll select this image here, which looks pretty poor, but we'll work with that. The image opens up in Camera Raw, and as you can see, shot very early in the morning. A lot of colour cast on it, very blue. So let's first off try our camera calibration and try sometimes we can pick one of these and it gives us a good starting point these match the profiles that are in the camera if your camera has different profiles these will be listed differently I'll just stick with Adobe standard because none of those others take my fancy go back to the basic controls and see from the histogram our image is a bit underexposed so I'm going to use the exposure to bring that up a bit because I used camera or raw and not JPEG where I took this image I've got a bit of leeway with this image so set the exposure that brings everything up next thing I do is adjust the white level and that's this control here and we can slide it up and down. Neat little trick with this slider is we can use an Alt key. And what that does is shows us where the highlights are, are being blown out. As you can see, if I keep going, the highlight warnings there. Just bring it back to about so. Depends on the image, depends on where the highlights are as to where I leave it, but let's just stick like that black level, that sets the black level point on our image go too far and we get crushed blacks go too far the other way and we don't get any blacks so let's hold the alt key and find the spot where we get the blacks where we want them so go too far, crushed blacks let's just bring it back to that there black level tends to make your image colors pop out a bit. Next we can adjust the clarity. Clarity is like a midpoint contrast. Go too far and it gets a bit surreal. Go the other way, get that nice soft look. But we'll go just to make it pop a little out there. We can bring our highlights back if we think we're blowing out highlights. The highlight control works really well to bring the just this the highlight end of our histogram down and sometimes if there's not much detail on the shadows or too much detail we can use our shadow control to brighten it up a bit so I'll leave it about there and we can use vibrance the vibrance is a saturation control but it only affects colors other than skin tones so looking more at the grass I'm going to fix the sky up in a minute and a bit of saturation normally I don't do much saturation so it's usually the vibrance control I use now it's very very blue, a bit too blue that's because our white balance is out you've got with white balance you've got sliders which I use as a last resort I tend to first off try these but never have much success with them so when you're shooting say auto that's the camera's best guess and these are the other options that you normally have with your camera but let's go let's go back to as shot what I tend to do is use my little eyedropper here and I pick a spot on the screen which should be grey and usually that's the clouds and when I touch it on a spot I look at the overall image and say that's the tone I want I might pick another spot but no let's stick with it, it makes the clouds go a bit pinkish if we go too far but you could if you wanted and so we actually wanted to do that we could use bring the pinks back again using with the tint control maybe we wanted a bit warmer we could bring up the 
temperature will make it a bit cooler by going down so let's just go back to where we were I rather like that might just make the saturation a little bit more let's make it pop a bit almost done the next thing I would do is go to detail and let's just go back to our magnifying glass have a look here see that this image is not very sharp because it was shot one tenth of a second you might be able to just recover a bit of that by using sharpening what sharpening does is anywhere there's a, an edge it just adds a bit of contrast there sometimes if you do too much sharpening you get artifacts over the screen bit hard to see but so usually end up having the sharpening around about there radius is how far out from the edges does the sharpening go to and the detail is how much is applied another trick, neat trick camera raw is that we've got this ability to mask out what we don't want to have happen is we don't need to mask out the flat areas like the sky we only want the edges done so we can just go back to full view we can use this masking control with the alt key pushed and only sharpen the edges like so makes it a little bit, bit sharper and sometimes if we've got too much ISO on our shot we can sometimes get noise in the image and you can get rid of the noise a bit using the noise reduction like so but this image you can't see much go back to the basic as you can see there's a problem with this image that it's the horizon lines on an angle so we can fix that using the straighten tool just drag that across the screen on an angle the area where it should be straight push enter and our image is straight we're happy with that we can say open the image in Photoshop one thing to do maybe is just bring it back to 8 bits per channel and go open image and then in the fullness of time the image will open in Photoshop where we can do some more work on it if we wish <laughs>